the entire YouTube is teaching you concepts, right? But still, why exactly majority students are failing? So, I'm happy that education is democratized and majority of the teachers are on YouTube and they are teaching you concepts and I must tell you, they're teaching it in a nice way. So, in my last video, I told you that whatever you see on YouTube is trailer and not a movie. But today, I'm here to tell you there is one more mistake students make during the exam which makes them fail, but nobody is talking about it. So, to start with, Biotechnica has always been an industry leader in providing coaching for CSIR. Now, where things go wrong is many of the teachers think that, okay, if I teach the concepts and that students just put it in their mind when they go to the exam, by natural, the concept will come out and you will be able to solve the question. But they all forget that this is not a university exam. This is an exam with two different difficult changes. One is it has got a cutoff. So how others perform, your score goes or up or down. And the second is it has got 13 mega units plus part A, which is equal to 13 university syllabus. So it is not as simple as one university exam. It is like writing 13 university exam at the same time in three hours, right? So nobody talks about it. So now we have been doing our research on student behavior during the exam and we found out that when you are stressed out then you are bound to make wrong decisions and this is a human behavior when circumstance take charge of your destiny your decision making you don't take charge of your decision making so we found out that the strategy has to be there for CSI and especially for part C now one important aspect of this particular strategy is you cannot implement this strategy just by listening to me you will have to implement it during your practicing the question paper as well as during your preparation program right now what exactly you have to do let's start with that now the moment you look at the question paper tell me which section scores the maximum number of marks it is obviously part c but tell me which is the section which makes you lose the maximum number of marks that is again part c so now you have two options either to, to be scared of part c or to be brave and face part c right so if whether you are a first timer or whether you have written exam earlier the only strategy to qualify exam is score the maximum marks in part c let me repeat score the maximum marks in part c but how do you score the maximum marks you'll have to spend the maximum time there and you'll have to be very careful in identifying three types of question. One will be the easy question. The second will be time taking question or we call it as time trap question. And the third will be just complicated question just to, you know, trap you, right? So that will be a concept trap. So basically you have to cherry pick the easy ones first. Now, how can you pick the easy ones first? Out of whatever 75 questions you will have in part C, only 25 you have to pick. So it's basically a rejection game. You have to reject maximum question and cherry pick those which is easy now how do you do that that comes from practice during your preparation right now you have to sweat in peace rather than bleed in the war and this is my dear friend a war so in this detailed video i want to highlight this fact that part c is no joke you have to practice maximum number of uh, questions during part c and how do you do that we have 25,000 Part C questions in Biotechnica. I'm repeating this, 25,000 Part C questions, which you will be attempting if you take up the coaching program in Biotechnica. So this means we will test you out throughout the next six months and one year. Every particular strategy, every particular technology will implement to make sure that you are solid in Part C. And guess what? We only take 16 students in our, uh, you know, Laksha batch or any of the batches which we conduct. The next batch is Laksha batch, by the way, and it is starting from 15th of February. So in any of these batches, we take only 16 students and we make sure that you practice as much as you can. Even though it is an online coaching program, you will be directly reporting to me whenever you start your self-study and whenever you st stop your self-study, whenever you start your practice of the questions, whenever you stop your practice. So that way, I personalize this program to make sure that you qualify in the next six months and one year. Now, coming back to the part C strategy, I have seen that majority of the students become stressed during the exam, especially because you have to keep a check on the watch and then you have to keep a check on the question solved, right? So that can be resolved if you have practiced this decision making for CSIR net exam part C throughout your preparation. And now coming to the last part, 
exam paper setters complicate questions using three methods. One of the method will be they will complicate using language. So they will put some complicated language. Whether you are opting for a Hindi or a English medium, you will still see the questions are complicated. The second way they complicate it is add some chemistry or physics into the question. And the third way they complicate is add a mathematical component to the question. These are the three best ways how they complicate questions for you. So you have to be smart enough to identify which question is easy in part C, which question is a time trap in part C, which question is a concept trap in part C, which is a language trap in part C, and then maximize your marks in part C because that is how you can score 100 marks out of 120 which is needed for your qualifying the exam above the cutoff. Now, whether you are writing it for the first time or whether you are going to write for, you are going to write for third or fourth time, remember this is not a university exam. This is a compressed university exam where 13 MSc syllabus is there, but at the same time, your pass marks depends on how others are preparing, how others are, uh, you know, uh, strategizing and how others are marking the questions right or wrong. So remember, you need not do what others are doing. You have to be smart. You need scientific manner of studying. You have to strategize in such a way that your memory recall is very fast. You have to study science scientifically, logically, study from mind maps, flowcharts, and notes which Biotechnica has designed over the past 18 years. And that's how you will qualify CSR. I hope these strategies will be helpful to you. Let me know in the comment section. And yes, we are starting our fresh batch, Lakshya batch from 15th of February. So Lakshya ko har hal mein paana hai. If you want to come grab this chance, then only eight seats are left now. Go ahead, enroll yourself. The website is lakshya.biotechnica.org or you can dial our toll free number 1-800-1200-1818. The link is given in the description. And if you want to write to me personally, you can write to me at shekhar at biotechnica.org. Keep shining, guys. Remember, no dream is too big as long as you have this attitude of winners never quit. Winners always win by implementing newer scientific methodology to study. Okay, so all the best. Take care. Bye-bye.